Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee with another answer to your neurofeedback question. Today, I am very excited to answer the question, what is a neurofeedback session like? So today, I'm in the office and I've brought my daughter, Sersha, so that she can be our neurofeedback stunt person. And I'm going to show you how a session operates when you're in the office. Okay, so first of all, Sersha is connected to the neurofeedback computer which is connected to the neurofeedback transmitter, which has a cord that is connected to a sensor that is placed on the appropriate area of Sersha's scalp to be able to provide the brain training that's most appropriate for her. Today I have it set for calm focus so that I can get her brain right in the zone of being relaxed and calm, but still focused as she gets ready to go to school. So you can see on the large screen that the movie that's playing, which is Ice Age, is brightening and dimming. This is the feedback to the brain in one of the aspects. This is the visual feedback. So basically the way that it works is when she watches the movie, the computer system is programmed to decrease the irregular brain patterns that might cause problems like distraction or difficulty focusing or anxiety or physical or cognitive types of challenges and it is set to enhance calm focus. So when her brain is in the zone that movie plays bright for the visual feedback. When her brain is out of the zone of calm focus the movie dims. At the same time she's wearing headphones that provide auditory feedback. So when her brain is in the zone and the movie is playing bright She's also receiving a hum, an auditory feedback to her brain, telling it that it is doing what we want it to. That happens when she's in the zone and when the screen is bright. When her brain goes out of the zone, not only does the movie go dim, but the hum goes away. And if she gets very far out of the zone, then there's a negative feedback, which is a ding. And you can see when she's receiving a ding, it shows up as a red line on the neurofeedback computer screen. And that's happening because I'm sitting behind her um, right now presenting this to you, so it's difficult for her to really stay calm and focused. But she's doing a great job. So that's what happens when people are here in the office. So after about a three-minute setup, appropriately placing the sensors, we just use a little dab of paste. There's no gel. The paste comes right back off nothing is uncomfortable and we have hundreds of movies for people to choose from. The way we do that is you choose a movie and we have the movie queued up for you as you come into the office. So you sit down, your movie's on the screen, we connect you to the computer system, we press play and we roll, training your brain specifically based upon what we have found in your QEEG brain map. The whole thing is a very pleasant experience for the person who comes in the office and is very, very effective at adjusting brain patterns. So why do we use movies? The movie is designed to entertain your mind so that your brain can get its best workout. We consider it a workout for the brain. So if you struggle with ADHD or if it's difficult for you to sit for a half hour, our sessions are a half hour long, it would be very painful for you to sit there doing nothing. Watching a movie, you're entertained and it relaxes your brain so that it can get its best workout. On the opposite end, if you are anxious and you feel stressed out, if you sat here for a half hour with nothing to entertain your mind, you would spin your wheels the whole time, which would not provide a beneficial uh, neurofeedback session for you. So we find using the movies perfectly relaxes the person's mind and body so that their brain can get the best workout. If you're not a movie buff, which most people can handle uh, watching a movie, many people bring their own movies in. So I joked with one woman that she was going to have a PhD in land formations by the time she was done with neurofeedback because she brought in documentaries on different land formations across the world. Um, so that's always an option to bring in your own types of DVDs and some people read and others if they're really into it and they've kind of graduated to it we will do neuro meditation with them but that's not appropriate for, mo for most people. 
Okay, so I hope that answers your question of what is a neurofeedback session like. And don't forget to like or subscribe to our channel below because it's my goal to teach more and more people about neurofeedback and to answer all the questions that people have. Okay, thank you.